I think some toys just got projectile thrown across the room upstairs. I guess I should say this. It's 6.44 in the morning. I just got, Lucian woke up at six and I desperately, clearly need coffee. <laughs> this is the way. I have you in this basket of Rice Krispie treats. So anyways, I'm gonna make some coffee really quick. Let's make some coffee. Come hither, come on, come hither. Strong enough to wake the dead because this is what we're manifesting. What are we doing? I don't even know. Good morning. <laughs> I thought we could hang out this weekend and do a little spring vlog, even though I know it's technically still winter, but the weather says spring. I figured in this video we could do, I kind of wanted to put up my little Easter decorations. And then also, uh, the dreaded yard work, y'all. Thinking I probably need to ask my mom if she can come over tomorrow and watch Lucian for a couple hours while Dallas and I just knock it out. Sunday, we're going to my mom's house. And, uh-oh, okay, we might have to visit this. I mean, my yogurt bite, got my coffee. All right, I'm gonna get Lucian. Good morning, are you ready to play? Look at all these toys. All right, we're back with good old mini skeleton over here. Ignore my, I need to take that down. That's my Halloween tree in a box situation over there. Anyway, so where did we leave off, Lucian? What were we talking about? You got your paper now? That's cool. That's pretty cool. It's the little things in life, people. Oh, I was talking about Sunday. So on Sunday, we're going to my mom's house for Lucian's first spaghetti night because now he's getting into solids. So we're gonna have our first spaghetti night at my mom's house. I don't know, we'll see where the spooky wind blows us. What are you doing now? Are you grunting? Anyways, I figured we'd hang out, do a little spring vlog, a little life update kind of situation, show you our day to day lately. Hey. Is that Jack? Who's that? Are you gonna call grandma? Are you eating your breakfast? What are you having, eggs? Are you having eggs? Good job. You're doing so good. Hey, Bobby. What are you doing? Were you helping mom and dad with trash? Hey, Bobby. girl here's your breakfast there you go Nunes. yummy yummy oh are you frustrated with that toy you got a good spot Nunes. yeah take your nap sorry i didn't mean to interrupt all right hey everyone we're back lounging uh lucian's currently napping but he should be up any minute because he's been down now for almost an hour and a half i think and uh i've been working on uh, uploading this video oh god i've been working on that during lucian's nap and then i heard a bunch of noise activity paranormal activity and there's a whole fedex truck out there right now and i think our shirts are being delivered but we gotta get all these boxes we're waiting for them to finish and then we gotta get these boxes in and by we i mean dallas <laughs> Right here, all the boxes lined up in front of our garage right now. <laughs> wow. Man, it's nice out today. And I would get ready today, but you know what? I'm not getting ready because my mom's coming over at two o'clock and she's gonna help us. We're gonna put Lucian down at two for his nap. And then I need to actually probably get Lucian up. So he takes a nap. Up, up, the monkey! You got him without knocking down the blocks. Good job. He's a headless horseman. Where's the horse? I mean, oh, here's the horse. Ready? Look at that. Look, I have Jack. They're friends. Hi, headless horseman. I'm Jack. This is Halloween. This is Halloween. 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 
That's right. The hair on it? I'm sorry. Mom's bringing her chaos into your life. What's a pig? You know what pigs say? Oink, 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 oink. Oink, 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 oink. Sunny the Happy Monster says, Welcome to Monster Town. Peekaboo, it's Gus the Grumpy Monster. He's feeling very mad. I'm real mad, Lucian. Hootie Owl finds a house and hears an eerie sound. Who's hiding here behind the door waiting to be found? Hold on. We gotta look behind the door. Who's behind the door? Oh, Peekaboo, it's Smiley Ghost. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, shoot, where's mom? Look at mom. Lucian. He's like, leave me alone. I'm with my grandma. <laughs> All right, we're back. We're going on a family walk. We got mom the Virgo. Dallas, just Dallas. <laughs> Dallas, and are you a Virgo or are you? He's a, he's a Libra. Like oh yeah, you're after. Anyways, we're going on a walk. Oh, we got Neens too. We cannot forget yeah, Neens. Yeah. Neens the Libra too. Down a little bit. And that feels good though. Really nice though. Yeah, it is. Love the bumps. Oh yeah. Oh God, I'm falling over in someone's yard. Hey everyone, we're back from our walk and mom the Virgo is joining us tonight for dinner. She's trying her first ever factor meal. If you've been around here for a while, you know, We've been loving our Factor meals, which this video, by the way, is sponsored by Factor. And if you've been around here for a while, you may have heard me jab my jaws about Factor because we've been loving Factor meals for dinners. But if you haven't heard me talk about Factor before and you've never heard of Factor, Factor delivers fresh, never frozen, nutritious meals straight to your door. And they are no prep, no mess meals. So the Factor meals are 100% ready to heat and eat. There's no prepping, no cooking, or no cleanup needed. And with Factor, you can choose how many meals you need a week and you can always adjust accordingly. So if you need more later or you need to back off a little bit, whatever you need to do. So the factor meals are so convenient and delicious and nutritious. All the things I was looking for, especially since bringing Lucian home, but really there are so many other times in my life where I feel like factor would have come in handy. Finals week, uh, just in general, like a busy work week or just any time I was looking for easy and nutritious meals, I feel like factor would have come in handy. And especially now being new parents, the factor has been a time saver, a lifesaver, all of the things. They're super quick to make. They're only two minute meals. So it takes two minutes to heat them up. They're ready to go. They taste amazing. We were telling my mom, we're like, we have not had a meal that we didn't like or just didn't prefer. We liked everything. And Factor has more than just dinner meals. They have snacks, smoothies, and more. So you can discover a wide variety of easy options for the entire day, like breakfast, midday bites, and more. So if you're wanting to try Factor, you know I have a steal of a deal for you guys. You can head to factor75.com or click the link down in my description box and use code Libra50 to get 50% off your first Factor box plus free wellness shots for life. So you get two free wellness shots from the three available flavors for every order while you're an active subscriber. Dallas was like, dang, they added the free wellness shots. That's awesome. That's such a good deal. <laughs> so Dallas and I are total nerds about it. I can't even tell you how, how much we nerd out about Factor and talk about it to anyone who will listen. And we get Factor every single week. So we get Factor outside of the sponsorship. So this isn't one of those things that I only get it when I'm doing sponsorships or whatever. I actually, we get our Factor meals every single week and we love them and it has been so worth it just in saving time and we're not wasting food anymore. All those things really make a difference. Like at least it has for us. All right, so my mom's having the blackened salmon. Dallas is having the tomato, goat cheese, cavatappi, primavera. I don't know why I couldn't say that. And I'm having the roasted garlic butter salmon. And that, that's the lineup, everybody. Let's warm these up two minutes. Yeah, I'm happy that grandma's here. All right, what do you think? It's delicious, but let me try the broccoli. Very okay. good. Okay. Ready? Mm, Is that good? Yummy. Lucian approved. I already took a bite because I couldn't wait. And it's delicious. So I've got my cauliflower grits, 
salmon, broccoli. It's so good. This garlic butter on the salmon is so good. It's currently bath time. We're preparing the bath for big Lucian. And I'm getting his toys all ready. And we're gonna go with the spinner, this swimming turtle guy, and these. These are my favorite, watch this. Like, I want these for my bath. I guess nothing's stopping me, but it's like a whole laser light show. Not really lasers, but you know what I mean. A light show for the bath. Maybe I'll put this one with a B. So you can have a double spinner situation. All right, bath is ready. All right, here everyone, it's seven o'clock and Lucian is down for the night, hopefully. No, he's not down for the night. I meant he's down for like, he's not waking up to play anymore tonight. What am I doing? Why is it so dark in here? He fell asleep eating his bottle because he didn't take his nap today, his afternoon nap. So he is crashed out. Who knows what we have in store tonight? <laughs> Every night is a mystery. <laughs> it's freaking hot in here. What's the temperature? Hold on. Freaking 70 degrees. Ugh. I am not ready for this heat, y'all. I am not ready. I'm already miserable, Marie, and it's 70 degrees in here. And I'm already sweating. And yeah, I'm wearing a sweatshirt. But this is what I like to do in my house. I like to wear, like I like to be bundled up in my house because I like it to be cool. We keep our house at 66, 66 degrees in the winter. And I'm not ready for this, y'all. I'm not ready for this warm weather. I mean, it, it, the walk was really nice today. I enjoyed, like it was sweatshirt weather outside, but inside it's freaking hot. It's hot. I, I don't know about anybody else, but I cannot sleep when it's hot. Like I can't do it. I don't know how people do it where it's hot in their house and they open the windows in the summer and it's all humid and hot inside. No, absolutely not. I know some people love that, but I can't do it, man. I need like 500 fans blasting and I love, I love being cold at night. That's anyway, that's besides the point. Now I'm jabbing my jaws. Anyways, Lucian's finally down. Tonight is going to be a mystery. I haven't really talked too much about it. I haven't talked too much about it because I just have been pushing through, like thinking like, obviously he's a baby. He's not going to sleep through the night, right? That's what I keep thinking in my mind. So I'm not really letting it, like I just kind of live it and do it. But uh, Lucian, he is such a sweet baby and he is funny and he is such a good baby during the day. He, like we didn't have to deal with a lot of colic or like the first four months of his life, he did nothing but sleep. At about four months, they call it the four month sleep regression or whatever. I didn't even know this was a thing. He quit sleeping, like just quit sleeping entirely. And this has been like, since four months, it's gone through phases. It went from like waking up every half hour, every 40 minutes. That was during the four month sleep regression. So basically all of September and part of October, he was waking up in the night every 40 minutes. So if it seemed like I was a zombie during, I don't even know how I did vlog. I didn't finish half of vlogoween. The second half of vlogoween never happened because I don't even know if I, like, I was struggling bad. And I didn't really, I don't even know if I talked. I don't even remember y'all. I don't remember. What did I even do in October? I don't even know. But oh, we weren't sleeping. That's for sure. Then it went through like a couple of stages where he slept okay for like a week or so or maybe like a month he did okay, but he was still like his longest stretches were maybe a couple hours. Then it, they went to every four hours. So I was getting some four hour stretches in. Then just last month, it went back down to two hours and every two hours he was awake. Two nights ago, he was up every three hours. But then last night he only woke up once and I get it. He's a baby. He's under the age of one. They wake up in the night. I totally get that. I feel like when you have, and if anyone else can relate to this, if you have a child or have ever had a child, if your children are grown, that didn't sleep, did everyone and their literal mom want to remind you that their kid slept since like they were like two days old and they slept, through, started sleeping through the night when it was literally not even possible? Because I feel like that's all I hear is like, your baby should be sleeping and you, you, your baby needs to sleep through the night. My, my baby slept through the night at like two days old. And I'm like, dude, 
I'm so happy for you. Like that makes me so happy for you because that's got to be awesome. But I'm drowning over here, okay? <laughs> but anyways, I we're we're we've been struggling. I'm not going to lie. And I keep telling myself it's going to get better, and so that's why I feel like I haven't really talked too much. I don't know, maybe, maybe I've talked about it. But I don't know that I've talked too much about it. I think I just keep writing it off as like, oh, it's teething. Oh, it's this. Oh, it's that. But really, I think we've just been struggling to sleep around here a little bit. And that's okay. I'm happy to be there for my son when he needs me. So it's okay. Like, So I'm not going to complain about it. But I just wanted to put it out there. Um, anyways, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. But basically, tonight's going to be a mystery. We'll see how it goes. But until then, let, let, me, sh let me show you what I even came down here for. I, don't, I didn't come down here to go on some rant about having a baby that's not sleeping. But hey, if you're also in the same boat, that's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> I'm with you. And we're in this together. And I hope you're doing okay because it is a rough ride. And hey, and if you're on the other side of it, just send a signal. <laughs> it's going to be okay. Okay. Anyways, I came down here. Because my mother-in-law got me this gluten-free nothing bunt cake. Is that what it's called? Nothing bunt cake. I don't know. I'm never able to eat any of this stuff because I have celiac, you know? So I can never eat anything good, basically. No, that's not true. But you know what I mean? Like a lot of sweets or like places, like cookie places or cake places. I can never eat there. But she got me this gluten-free cookie dough. No, chocolate chip cookie. It tastes like cookie dough cake and this thing is the best thing I've ever had no, wait why is this all I think I put my fingers all over this ah uh, this is the best thing I've ever had in my whole life I, I, I'm probably being dramatic I don't even have a fork I'm gonna eat this with a spoon that's how excited I am right now I ate half of this last night took everything in me not to eat the whole thing the only reason I didn't eat the whole thing in one sitting is because I wanted to also enjoy it today so I was like I Oh, let me put you on some Rice Krispies. But I'm like, I have to enjoy this two days in a row. Like, I can't just enjoy it in one night. Like, I just, it's so good. Even Dallas was like, yours is better than mine. He got the Reese's one, and he said the cookie chip, the chocolate chip, I don't know why this is so hard for me to say. Chocolate chip cookie one, the gluten-free one, is so delicious. It's so good. It's so good. Anyways, my mother-in-law came through for your ghoul. Anyways, my night is pretty much over because Dallas fed Neens while I was feeding Lucian. So we're done for the night. I mean, I might edit a little bit, but I'm also hooked on this love is blind. I don't know. Like these dating shows, like the love shows, married at first sight, love is blind. I don't know why I get into these. Like I'm not a big like bachelor ghoul or anything like that. But love is blind gets me every time. Every time. Sucks me in. Um, I don't even know why. But here we are. This is seriously the best thing. Dallas just sent me a picture of Lucian from upstairs. <laughs> I'm going to take the rest of my cake up to bed. And I don't know. We're probably going to watch Love is Blind. I'm not going to lie. And good morning, everyone. It is about 6.30-ish in the morning. And I'm about to make some coffee really quickly. Lucian's upstairs in his little activity center playing while I make coffee. And then we're going to get him, bring him down, and call my mom and do the whole morning thing. But right now, Ghoul needs coffee desperately. So here we go. All right, so today I think we're going to go for the spiderweb extravaganza of a mug. What's in the bottom of this? What is that? Ugh. Great. We're not going to go with this one. We got to clean that one out. So let's go with this one. This Halloween extravaganza. Also, today I had to use my inhaler. I haven't had to do that in so long. I feel like every single year, anytime I have to do yard work, it's like my asthma comes back from the dead. And I haven't had asthma in years. Like I had it really, really, really bad when I was younger. And like really bad, like several inhalers a day, bad. Another reason I love winter, and I'm not a big summer ghoul, not just the heat, but like in the sun, <laughs> but also 
the allergies and asthma. You know I'm flummy the flamingo. It's it's like I'm a whole mess of a situation. Anyways, for your fellow allergy slash asthma person out there, solidarity to you. It's it, and when you don't have asthma for a while and then it comes like you know you'll do yard work or whatever and it comes back it feels horrible like i i don't know how i lived like this for so long all right hold on i gotta get lucian's crying let me go get lucian we'll reconvene <laughs> means it's the best spot in the house what do you think <gasps> are those your toys here he comes. You get your wish. You're mine now, doll. <laughs> yeah. He's a Charles Lee Ray. Who's in the water? Thrilling the crowd. It's Nessie Baby laughing out loud. <laughs> yeah, silly. Bigfoot. Baby. Wow. <gasps> It's Bigfoot Baby reading a book. We're reading a book too, Lucian. It's Bigfoot Baby who says good night. And then there's Mama and Dad Dad Bigfoot. That's right. That's right there. My Dad Dad, Mama, Bigfoot, Baby Bigfoot. Or Bigfoot Baby, I mean. And that's Bigfoot Baby. It's a monster. All right, everyone. Oh, wow. Look at this hair. Is large and in charge. Uh, it is another night of factor meals, y'all. I just finished editing some of this vlog, actually. And now it's time for dinner. Got my Freddy Krueger shirt on. I'm ready. Uh, what do you have in Dallas? I don't know. I'll look and see what we're having. I think I'm going to have the Caribbean spiced tofu. That's what I'm going to have. Lucian, are you excited? It's a yellow. A yellow fish. Fish, 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 fish. <laughs> I'll do anything for that smile. Mmm. Yeah, here's your kidneys. You like that? Not good. Mm. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> it's another day in 2024 paradise. And Ghoul has the worst allergies ever. Since we did that yard work, I have been a total mess. Like all night last night, not all night last night, but before I went to bed last night, then uh, this morning, like if you can hear, I feel like I sound like groggy and froggy and I'm so congested, but I'm not sick because like I don't feel bad. Like I don't feel sick. Like nothing else seems weird or off. Uh, Lucia woke up only once last night, so it wasn't that bad. Uh, he woke up at 1.30 and then he woke up at 5.30 for the day. I can't seem to shake this 5.30 wake up. It doesn't matter what time he goes to bed. He could go to bed at 6 o'clock. He could go to bed at 7.30. He could go to bed at 8 and he still wakes up at 5.30. So I just keep his bedtime around. It's usually between 6.45 and 7, usually closer to 7. And he still wakes up at 5.30 every morning without fail. He won't go back down, nothing. He's awake for the day. And a lot of people have said like, it's called like a FOMO baby or something, like fear of missing out. Like a baby just fears missing out, so they're awake. I don't know if I have 100% one of those because like when he wakes up in the middle of the night, he goes back to bed pretty easily. Like I change him, I feed him, and I put him back to bed, and he's usually pretty good about it. So he's not like trying to get up and like play and be awake for the day at like 1.30. But 5.30, absolutely, he's ready for the day. And I'm over here looking like this, not ready. <laughs> I don't know what we're doing today. I kind of wanted to decorate for Easter today. Just put out a couple things. It's not going to be super extravagant. We didn't get a whole bunch of stuff. We're just starting to get Easter decorations around here because I've never really decorated for Easter before. Uh, because usually we're doing halfway to Halloween, which, oh my gosh, that reminds me that's coming up. I already have my decorations ready. Like I, the way I organized my Halloween decorations this year, I have them ready to go for halfway to Halloween. But um, we don't have a ton of Easter decorations, so we're just putting out a couple things, and, and that's gonna be that. But, so nothing too crazy, but I, I'm excited to do it nonetheless. I need to blow my nose. All right, anyways, I'm gonna make my coffee. 
Are you holding on to mama? Are you holding on? Are you standing? You're standing. Yay. What was that? Yay. Is it your cell phone? Hello? Oh, yes. You want to talk to Lucian? Okay, here he is. Lucian, it's for you. I'm your little pumpkin lovey. Oh, it's smiling at you. Oh, there's the lion. You found your lion. Wow, there he is. There's the lion. What did the lion say? Rawr. Yummy. Is he biting down on it? Yeah. Avocado? Mmm. You don't want that? <laughs> what you doing, Neen? Is that a good spot? <laughs> He's pushing you away, did you see him? <laughs> Are you having a snack? That looks yummy, Lucian. I'm currently on a walk. We've got little means, Dallas Lucian. We're all cruising. Because uh, Lucian decided not to take his second nap. So we are um, hanging on by a thread over here. <laughs> Send help, somebody. <laughs> um, so. We've had a fussy day. It's really windy, so if you're hearing the wind, my bad. Uh, but it's been fussy pretty much all day, so I haven't really been filming it because no one wants to listen to a baby cry all day, including us. <laughs> so anyways, hopefully this walk helps and we're two hours till bedtime. Hallelujah. <laughs> What are you doing? What are you doing? Ow! Ow! He's trying to take my eyelashes off. Lucian, you think that's funny? You think that's funny? Oh, look at you standing up. Be careful. Uh, Dallas is heating up our factor meals. We're about to eat dinner. And then, um, I don't, I don't, after bedtime, I think I'm just, I'm done. I think I'm just going to take off my makeup and go to bed. Watch and we're going to probably watch Love is Blind. Yes, indeed. But I am. Are you? You're not tired. Actually, you're overtired, which is going to be so much fun at bedtime. Yeah. Say yay. <laughs> you don't like that? <laughs> uh, this might be a little hot for you. <laughs> We can try it. Wanna try? Spicy? Good? Want more zucchini? Gotta find a soft one. Hold on, a little third apple. Zucchini. Yummy. <laughs> Are you okay, bud? Jeez. You're doing so good picking up your food. Good job. Oh, did you get your green bean? She's going for that bite. She's trying to... All right, we're currently hanging out and doing our before bath routine, which usually consists of jumping in the little jumper, but right now he's standing up and watching our Halloween songs. So we watch these, ever since Halloween time, we've been watching these super simple, it's on YouTube, super simple Halloween songs. I'll link the exact video down in the comments because even, hold on, let me, well, he likes this one. Um, even if you don't have a kid and you just are looking for some Halloween vibes, I love the animations on this whole video. Like, 
has the cutest little Halloween animations and cutest little Halloween songs. So I'll link it in the description. So if you want to watch them uh, and you don't have a kid, that's really fine too. Or if you got a kiddo looking for something fun to watch, these Halloween songs are so much fun. Lucian loves them. And we usually watch them before our bath time. And he either jumps or dances or does whatever. But uh, if you watch them or if you've watched these and you have a favorite, let me know what it is in the comments. Uh, because what, what's your favorite, Dallas? My favorite's Monster Party. Lucian, what's your favorite? He likes all the puppets. He likes all the puppets. Any of the ones with the puppets? Yeah, that one is good. Yeah, who took? Yeah, who took the candy from the trick or treat bag? Yeah. That one, yeah, it's yeah. Got puppets too, right? Yeah, it's got puppets. And the funniest one I think is well, the funniest part of the puppet one. All the little puppets do just different hand motions, like they're dancing during the song. It's so cute. Lucian loves that one, but I like Monster Party. Not gonna lie. Who's that? Arr. Hey, Scram! Hey, Scram! <laughs> hey, Scram! Scram! <laughs> And also, when we're going up the stairs for the last time for the night, Dallas chases up, chase, well, not, we don't go fast, but he chases a, a little, chases us up the stairs. <gasps> gonna get you. Hurry, hurry, gonna get you. Hurry, gonna get you. Gonna get you. We gotta go. Gonna get you. Oh, yeah. It's a dinner. <gasps> hey, girl. Oh, no. oh, no. Gonna get you. <laughs> <laughs> all right hey everyone we're back um we were supposed to decorate for easter during lucian's nap time and it just didn't work out uh so we didn't really do a whole lot this afternoon so i figured we'd maybe get unready together because i haven't done uh what am i trying to think of uh skincare <laughs> words i haven't done a skincare routine in a long time so better late than never so i'm gonna take this makeup off and do my whole skincare routine so we're starting with this guy this Clean It Zero Cleansing Balm by Vanilla Co. Got this off Amazon. I'll link all this stuff down in the description if you're interested in trying any of this skincare stuff. I've been doing this whole process that I'm gonna show you for a while, like maybe a couple years now, and I'm loving this routine so far. Wait, I need to get my little towel out. I'm just rubbing this. I try not to rub aggressively, but I can't help it sometimes. But also from the generation, if you also are from the generation of the freaking apricot scrub, then you know that it's hard to come out of the habit of just scrubbing your face aggressively. So I'm trying, trying to do my best. Oh, before I turn that on, I'm gonna show you. First of all, this is maybe my new gothic makeup routine. Um, but anyways, before I turn the water on, I want to tell you what I'm going to use. I'm going to use this face wash. This is the Rooted Beauty Sensitive Facial Cleanser with aloe and chamomile. And um, yeah, I got this from Grove. So I get my, uh, all my Mrs. Myers cleaning supplies, all of the different seasonal scents and all that I get from Grove. Um, and every once in a while, they'll give you a little freebie or a little sample of something or whatever. And this was an option one month and I got it and I really enjoyed it. And honestly, I was a little nervous about it because I don't like trying a lot of new cleansers on my face because I have really sensitive skin. So it's super easy for cleansers to make my skin feel really tight and irritated and dry and this stuff doesn't. And then I like to wash my face twice just a little bit. So I just put like a little bit of the cleanser on there. Wash my face with it. Then I go in with a little more because sometimes my eye makeup's not off all the way. Just a little more. I do the same thing with my hair with shampoo. So like the first run, facial cleanser, I just get the balm off. You know that balm I put on my face? And the second round, I feel like gets the rest off. Like any residue. And then I just take my little towel and blot my face. And uh, I do the same thing with shampoo where I kind of use my first round of shampoo. I just use it a little bit to kind of break down the product. And then I go in with a second little bit and it lathers up. I do the same thing with my shampoo because I use a lot of product in my hair. So I thought maybe the same concept for facial cleanser would maybe work where I can break down some of this stuff first, get this off and then go in and get the rest of my makeup off so that way I'm not aggressively trying to get my eye makeup off, you know? I don't know if that makes sense. Anyways, so next, what are we doing? 
I'm gonna take one of these cotton pads, these Swispers. Is that what they're called? Swiss Swispers. Again, I'm gonna link everything in the description. And then I'm gonna take this stuff. So this is the Tarte Micellar Water, but it's not actually the Tarte my, my little Micellar Water. I got this in, it was one of those boxes. I can't remember what box it was, but it came with, you know, one of those subscription boxes. And I loved this. I loved the Tarte one, but it was kind of pricey. I'm not gonna lie, but I really love this container. It's like one of those containers where you put nail polish in it and then you, you know, take off your nail polish if anyone's seen one of these containers. Uh, anyways, it's like that concept, but with micellar water and I put this in it. So I just refill this cause I could screw off the top of this. And then I just refill it, which I need to anyway. I just bought this stuff. Um, I like this one. This Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water in, with the rose water and glycerin. I like this one for my sensitive skin. So this is the one. Again, it'll be linked. Uh, I love that one. And then I put it in this thing. I'll try to find one of these on Amazon for you and link it in the description, like one of these container looking things. I know you can get them at Sally's, I think is where I got mine. Like I have another one for, uh, what am I talking about? For a nail polish remover, but I just take my little cotton pad and just press down and the product comes out onto the cotton pad. And then I just kind of take off any extra eye makeup, kind of run it across the edges of my face because sometimes I miss spots and then I get my nose too around here. Oh God, it's stuck in my nose. Pretty self-explanatory. I don't know why I'm explaining every little thing like it's some tutorial, it's not fancy. Those are just, I feel like basic. I'm not a real fancy, like I don't really know what I'm doing when it comes to skincare. I'm also getting my neck, cause like the neck wrinkles, you know, they get dirty. And so anyways, I don't really know what I'm doing. This is just what I do and it works for me, but I don't really have any sort of professional advice about this stuff. This is just what like trial and error has got me here. And I love it, love whatever I'm doing. Okay, so next I use this stuff, this Gly, wait, Glyluronic Miracle Correction Serum. Got this off of Makeup Artist Choice. It's a website, again, I'll link it in the description. A long time ago when I was having issues with hormonal acne around my mouth, uh, like it was like more my, my chin, like this area here, like my jawline and chin area. And somebody suggested this toner, it's called Mandelic Acid Toner, M-A-N-D-E-L-I-C, Mandelic Acid Toner. And it was on this Makeup Artist Choice website. Anyways, I used it on my hormonal acne and it was wild how well it worked. You can even Google Mandelic Acid and acne before and after, and the before and afters are great too. That's what kind of convinced me to try it. But I have really, really sensitive skin, so a lot of the acids were really too harsh for my acne and they were making them worse um because I tried other acids and other things that just were my it was upsetting my face my face was getting really angry so I tried the mandelic acid toner and it was great and then what kind of sealed the deal and cleared up my skin completely was birth control so I'm just gonna put that out there that's just me personally I'm not telling anybody to do anything but that's just my experience but I've been off of birth control since having Lucian or since when we started trying for Lucian. So I wanted to keep my face clear because I noticed when I first got off birth control before we started trying for Lucian, I was breaking out again around the same areas. So I tried this because I saw this on their website and I read all the reviews of all their things, like all the popular things on their website. And people were ranting and raving about this stuff. Glyluronic Miracle Correction Serum. And they were saying that it helped with their acne and texture and like all this stuff and wrinkles and all the things. So I'm like, okay, well, I'm just gonna get this and try it. And it's been, I don't know, cause I didn't get like my full force acne back. So maybe I just don't have it anymore. I don't know, but it kind of keeps everything calm and at bay. Cause I was getting a couple things popping up and this kind of keeps it from manifesting, like from happening. Notice the biggest difference around here. Cause I was seeing, especially around here, uh, some lines. I'm 37, by the way, I'll be 38 in October. And I was noticing some lines coming in here and obviously here and um, it's fine. Like aging happens, so I'm not even worried about it. But uh, I noticed when I started putting that stuff on that these lines here, like they're almost not even there anymore. 
I mean, and these aren't like as deep or anything. And I wasn't even intending for this to do that. I just wanted this to keep my acne away, but it kind of took away, like I had some deep lines that were happening right here. It kind of took them away. So I don't know if that's what did it or something else did it, but, um, and I did get lip, I haven't gotten lip filler since 2018. This is just lingering. I don't know <laughs> what's sticking around. Like I probably should get it dissolved, but cause it's really fading unevenly. I can do a whole video on that. If you want to hear about my experience with filler and in my lips, I didn't get it anywhere else in my face. So just my lips didn't get it here or in my cheekbones or anywhere. I just did my lips and that's it. It kind of freaked me out to put it anywhere else cause I was like, I feel like it kind of, it can travel around and swell up and that just weirded me out. So I just didn't do anything anywhere else. Long story longer, next we're moving on to this. It's also from Makeup Artist Choice. This is the Advanced Hyaluronic with Watermelon Extract Nanotechnology. Don't know what that means, but this stuff is awesome. And my face is probably too dry now that it's not gonna do anything because it really works well when your face is still wet. And I also need to put it on my neck. I don't do any fancy rollers or anything just because for me, it's not practical. Like I never stick with it. I have some, don't I have one in here? I don't know, oh, here's one. I have this fancy jade roller situation, but I don't know. I just feel like it takes, it's just too much to remember. I'm just not doing it. Uh, okay. Next up, I have this one, the Phytocell Renewal Serum. Once again, this is from Makeup Artist Choice. This stuff, also love this. Freaking love this stuff. And I just use a couple of drops. And it's got like some apple stem cell, I don't know what it is. And this stuff, like I do a couple more drops for my neck. Several years ago, I was getting this weird chicken skin on my neck. Like I don't, I was in my 20s. I don't know what's going on. I was getting this like dry, crepey skin, my neck. And I tried this stuff. I think I'd gotten a sample of it. And it's like, it went away. It was the only thing that worked. And it's amazing. I love this serum stuff. And it's not oily or weird. Um, so it doesn't cause any texture on my skin. I can't do the oils. Oils for me, whatever, for whatever reason, they give me texture, they irritate my skin, they they kind of suffocate my skin. I just cannot do oils. I don't know, like my skin is dry, yet sensitive, yet it, it gets texture easily. It's, it's just a mess, I guess. All right, so next I go in with this stuff. This stuff has been my favorite for several years now. This Dermalogica Calm Water Gel. This stuff, for my sensitive skin, if you have sensitive skin, this stuff is freaking amazing. Why am I gonna burp? I don't know if I'm like inhaling air while I'm talking or what. Uh, Dermalogica actually sent me a tube of this or maybe a couple of tubes of this back several years ago when they first came out with it. They said they were sending like PR boxes. So I got it for PR and it was probably my favorite product I've ever received from any skincare line or makeup or whatever PR I had gotten. This stuff is amazing and I will never ever change. Like I haven't found anything comparable to this anything that could replace this. This is just amazing for my dry sensitive skin. And at the time when I first tried this, I had tried all sorts of moisturizers and everything was either too heavy for my dry sensitive skin and would leave texture or it wasn't enough and it would leave my skin feeling dry and tight and I could not find the balance. And this stuff, this stuff, it's like a, a gel. It's not even like a heavy moisturizer. So when I first felt it, I was like, this isn't gonna do anything for my dry skin. And then I put it on and my skin at this point was dry, irritated, angry at me. And this stuff like, calmed it, cooled it. Like you can physically feel it cooling your skin. And my skin just feels like it can still breathe. It feels like my actual skin. It's not too oily. It's not too heavy. It actually does something though and it just makes my skin feel like it can breathe. Like I can, like it's not feeling overly just done. You know what I mean? Love this stuff. I don't know if I can say enough good things about it. Ugh, it's so good and it's kind of pricey. So worth it. So, so worth it. I haven't found anything that compares to this and a little bit goes a long way. So I feel like it's, it's, a, it's a good one. Okay, so then for my under eye area, I got this stuff. This is the Dior One Essential Eye Serum. I got this during one of the Sephora sales or whatever. 
I don't, and I, I don't know if I'm going to repurchase it or not. I haven't noticed a huge difference if I'm being honest. I'm really, really, really upset because there was an eye serum from this Bella Evolve from Makeup Artist Choice. There was this eye serum. It was in this uh, tube, like a roller ball. Is Nene's okay? She water? Um, it was in this tube. Or no, sorry. It was like a roller ball and like a tube thing. And it was the best serum. I swear that thing lifted my eyes. It like my eyes looked hydrated and rested. It was the best stuff ever. And they discontinued it. And I am so mad. And the only other eye serum they have on there, or last I checked, is this, it's just kind of like a heavy moisturizer. And I don't love it. I feel like it leaves too much of a residue for makeup. So I don't know, I'm back to square one. So let me know your favorite eye serum. I really don't like eye moisturizers or like heavy creams because of makeup, like I like wearing makeup and I feel like it shows underneath or just gives a weird texture. So I like the eye serums. This one is good. It's just not, like it's expensive. So it, and it's not really like the most groundbreaking thing I've ever used in my life. I like it because it's light and it's a serum and that's what I want, but I'm not like, I don't know, I'm not sold on it. So let me know if you have any eye serum recommendations down in the comments. So anyways, that's my skincare routine for my dry, sensitive ass skin. If you also have similar skin, I, or if you just want to try anything that I talked about, I'll link it in the description. But that's my skincare routine for this 37-year-old lady. All right, I'm going to bed. I'll see you tomorrow. All right, what are we putting on top? You're lying? What about the... Uh-oh, you already knocked it down. You got your yellow block? Oh, you want your lion? Here. Get your lion. Roar. Get the lion. Roar. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> it is, I don't even know what time it is. Oh, you all right? Well, what happened? Lucia woke up at four. We'll be back. It's been a day, hasn't it? Today is Sunday. My dad and my stepmom are about to come over. They're gonna be here any minute. And then, what are we doing tonight? Skitty dinner, skitty dinner. We're having spaghetti, Lucian's first spaghetti dinner tonight at my mom's house, so that'll be fun. And uh, so yeah, today's kind of a family day. Sunday family day. And, uh, I don't know what else we're doing. I don't know what our other plans are. Probably taking a long nap until tomorrow after today. <laughs> and then I'll probably just do a separate Easter decorating vlog or video. And they can determine whether or not they want to keep under the keep under And what they what I was reading is like, well, the way Hey everyone, we're on the way to my mom's for my grandma's birthday spaghetti dinner slash Lucian's first spaghetti dinner this should be in oh did we didn't bring a bib did we mm -hmm. it doesn't matter you're not gonna be wearing it we're, we're, there's no way he's gonna be able to <laughs> wear, wear clothes without destroying them so uh diaper it is oh, the table looks so pretty mom thank you, How you doing, buddy? here's lucian's spot Bye. Okay. he's got a present try that <laughs> everyone I'm back home and it was an eventful day Lucian was not stoked about his spaghetti so um uh, just he's still getting used to some of those textures and different foods and flavors and all that kind of stuff so I don't think he knew how to chew it like I don't think he knew to like chew it like all his other foods like avocados eggs like other mushy things that he does really good with. Uh, and even his crackers and stuff like that. But he's never had a noodle before. So I think he was confused about what to do with it. <laughs> so anyways, we'll try again later. But regardless, it was nice to go to my mom's and see my grandma. And uh, we were celebrating her birthday. And so it was nice in general just to see family. So 
Anyways, now it's time for bed and Neens and Dallas are already upstairs waiting for me. Anyways, I wanted to do a proper send off though. So thank you so much for hanging out here for a pre-spring vlog. I can't believe I'm saying that it's February. It's like winter, winter, but it doesn't feel like winter out there. Anyways, it was so nice hanging out and catching up. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. Say, hey, well, hey, down in the comments because you know I love talking to you. And yeah, anything else you want to chit chat about down in the comments, anything we talked about, anything I complained about, <laughs> anything you want to talk about down in the comments, let me know. Uh, anyways, hope you're having an amazing pre spring -oween. And thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.